Hey there, Gary Baker with 30MinuteMarketing.net. Today we're going to be talking about the best affiliate marketing niches and we're going to be looking at some embarrassing niches. So if you're new to the channel and you want to understand and learn how to do more to market your message in less time, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, uh, ring the bell for notification for new videos. Currently release a video every Wednesday. Okay, uh, also understand it's not about faster, it's about focus. And like I'd said, today's focus is on affiliate marketing niches and we're gonna be niching down and taking a look at an embarrassing niche. So let's get into it. So before we do that, first things first, let's talk about two words that are very important to this discussion, subjective versus objective. So subjective refers to personal perspectives, feelings, or opinions entering the decision-making process whereas objective refers to the elimination of the subject, of subjective perspectives or your personal opinions and creates a process that is purely based on hard facts. Now, why is this important? Because the idea of what is best, so what is best is going to be subjective as far as when you're talking about picking a niche for yourself, because it's going to be subjective, meaning are you willing to put in the effort, the time, and do you have the capabilities to support the niche? Okay. Whereas objective would be based on hard facts, meaning, for example, in the case of the embarrassing niche that I'm just about to show you, how hard would it be to understand or to get that message out? For example, if you were going to do Facebook ads or you're going to rely on Google for organic traffic, such doing search, uh, search traffic or SEO, specifically because inside of an embarrassing niche you're taught when you're talking about using social media for embarrassing niches it's a little harder to get things to go viral to get people to share to get people to want to get involved into groups where they're not they don't have some type of anonymous the ability to stay anonymous so, so you know most people when it comes to discussing niches for example there's a list of niches over on warrior forum and you can see here what I'm talking about when you're talking about embarrassing niches, genital warts, uh, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, cold sores, uh, head lice, uh, things like that, uh, dandruff, snoring, uh, it goes down in here. And then the one we're going to talk about today uh, is on the list here, uh, erection problems. Again, if you're getting into any of these niches, these, while they are some of the best niches to get into, Again, that's subjective versus objective, and that was the reason I wanted to start it with the idea of it's subjective being based off the fact of it's based on your opinion on your ability to get involved in these discussions. So if you were to have something or you were to deal with something in your life, such as bad breath, and you had bad breath and you knew how to take care of that and you were willing to share that story, then you're going to be able to connect with your audience. But again, you're going to have to figure out how to do that and go places where people are participating in that conversation. And again, most likely they're going to want to do that anonymous, anonymously. So again, I wanted to cover that, that, get that thought process when we're talking about what's best when it comes to affiliate marketing and picking a niche. So subjective versus objective. Okay. And we'll go ahead and we'll use that list, like I said, and we'll jump right into this. And this concept of an embarrassing niche is going to be erectile dysfunction. So as you can see, first thing that's sort of weird about this niche for me is when I did a search on it, the ad is from Shutterstock. So Shutterstock obviously is images and stock photos. So first things first, there is an ad for erectile dysfunction, but it's actually an ad for images so you can so you can use those images i'm assuming on your blog or inside the niche so it's a little different spin on on the ad i was expecting to see i was expecting to see more of an ad about how to solve this problem but anyway that's part of the research and you'll see that as you go along when you're doing your own niche research but the the main point i want to show you here is the, the just the sheer volume of this uh niche or this keyword phrase or this problem so when you're talking about erectile dysfunction or over here also called ED or impotence, you can see here that it's the search engines, specifically Google, uh, and most likely Bing as well, is going to be dominated by uh, what Google perceives as high authority sites, especially inside of something like this that's considered to be, you know, the health niche down, sub niches inside of there. 
It's going to be dominated, this keyword phrase, even though there's lots of volume, is going to be dominated by WebMD, Mayo Clinic, right? Uh, Medline Plus, Healthline.com. So these are well-established health related websites that are backed by people that have authority in this doctors nurses you know people that are doing actual medical research and coming up with medical solutions for erectile dysfunction so again this is going to be a case of where while you're in a niche or you're trying to niche down so in this case you're thinking well there's lots of great products when i hopped over for example to ClickBank Engine, to CB Engine, and I popped in erectile dysfunction over here in the search to find products, I see all these great products that are over on ClickBank with all these great uh, average per sales and, and you know good gravity, all this kind of stuff. So this, this is a product that I want to support. So maybe you're thinking you're starting from product back towards your, uh, your niche, and you're in your niche, and your niche is, for example, in a health niche, but also erectile dysfunction could also be related if you're thinking it's only in the health niche so how am I going to break into this embarrassing niche right because it's really one of the best affiliate niches out there right how am I going to do that if I'm just going after this keyword so you're going to have to you know really get creative and think about this and say okay how can I target people that are looking for these products uh, for example when you take a look at these and it says mental impotence healer uh, cure erectile dysfunction so maybe you're not targeting the health niche so much maybe you need to step back and look at it from a different angle and say okay I'm looking at it from a relationship from the relationship niche okay and specifically if you do research inside of erectile dysfunction not saying it, it's just about older older men but typically it affects people as they get older so you could say relationships after 40 and erectile dysfunction, and then you can see how you can niche down into this niche, and you can do it from an angle that maybe is not so embarrassing, or maybe you can attract an audience to get them in to relationships after 40. Again, going from the angle of, I want to start a blog, I want to start an authority website, but I also want to create a Facebook page. But my Facebook page is about relationships after 40 and erectile dysfunction is just a sub niche inside of my relationships after 40 niche as a huge problem. So again, you can tap into that keyword once you combine it with relationships after 40. So the niche in this case, the best affiliate marketing niche in this case for you is relationships after 40. With the embarrassing niche or the sub niche being erectile dysfunction, where you can target these products that you found on CB Engine. Okay, so the real key here that I'm trying to get back to the point of the two key words here subjective versus objective, your personal perspectives, feelings, and opinions are going to impact how you pick and what you think is the best affiliate marketing niche for you. Okay, but then objective is going to be. Okay, what are the hard facts about the niche that I'm in? And one of the facts is that if you pick erectile dysfunction, the, the simple fact is that when you go to try to rank for this keyword, for example, on SEO search on Google, it's going to be next to impossible. So you're going to have to create that angle. And one of those angles that I wanted to share with you is relationships over 40 and erectile dysfunction. Okay. And then another thing that I want to show you is just the simple objective, the hard truth. The simple fact is, uh, can you advertise health products on Facebook? So I just did a simple search for erectile dysfunction Facebook ads. And then there was this uh, interesting article down here from GoDaddy that talked about sending people uh, to collecting leads. So GoDaddy has some information on that. But another very important thing here was Facebook ads Facebook block ads for menopause products, but deliver ED ads. So it appears that erectile dysfunction ads may be okay on Facebook, but in other things, for example, inside your relationships over 40, part of that is also going to include if you're targeting women and men for those relationships, you can see right here in this research that menopause is going to be an impact and, a, and something that you can also do that might also be embarrassing for women when they hit a certain age 
not to say that it's embarrassing that they should have anything to be embarrassed about. It's just that uh, it's that subjective idea of is it embarrassing? Do they want to hide the fact that they're going through it or they just don't want to share the fact that they're going through it? Not so much that they're hiding it. Again, embarrassing being a simple a simple way to say these aren't typical things that people are going on Facebook to share with the majority of their friends, but they might join groups on Facebook, but they might prefer to do it more anonym anonymously. So again, that is what we're talking about here on 30 Minute Marketing today. But before you go, I want to show you one last quick tip, and this is justanswer.com. So, for example, when we're talking about getting questions answered to embarrassing niches, specifically uh, embarrassing niches in the medical niche, uh, JustAnswer.com has the ability for people to come on to here and ask actual medical professionals their questions with, like I said, in a sort of in an anonymous way and sort of start that conversation so they can start to feel comfortable about it. And the reason I wanted to share JustAnswer.com is because JustAnswer.com actually has an affiliate program. So in this case, you can make money while helping your visitors. So again, if you were to target uh, relationships after 40 and go after erectile dysfunction or even menopause, and you wanted a way to make money other than just the, the products that you see here listed in ClickBank over in CB Engine, but you wanted to be able to help people and drive them to an actual resource where they can talk to a medical professional, you can go to JustAnswer.com and you can sign up for their affiliate program. So again, these are just other ways to think about the best way to break into affiliate marketing. And again, a list of niches that may be embarrassing. Of course, I'll go ahead and I'll list all the resources in the video in the description below. And of course, also you'll be able to pick up a copy of Is Affiliate Marketing a Waste of Time and Money? And you can get the answers to those questions. That'll be in the first link. Uh, it's on the uh, homepage of 30minutemarketing.net. And that's what I wanted to share with you today. A little outside the box thinking uh, when you're talking about picking your best niche and take a look at those embarrassing niches and maybe how to add those embarrassing niches under a sub make them a sub niche of a primary niche that you're going after and think about this being subjective versus objective when you're creating and when you're thinking of angles and you're thinking how to approach people of course the more personal that you can make this and the more personal it is for you, the easier and the, the better you're going to be able to help people that you're trying to find out there, again, to solve their problem. For example, in this case, I used uh, relationships over 40, erectile dysfunction and or menopause, just as examples, but there's many others out there. And that's all I had for you today. If this was helpful. There'll be a 30 minute timer here. Go ahead, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment what you think about embarrassing niches. Do you think uh, that you could uh, maybe do good in a niche like this? Uh, do you think you would be okay uh, with, uh, you know, niches that you think that you're that subjectively you think are embarrassing? Go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll talk to you later. All right.